जय हिंद चिल्ड्रन वेलकम बैक टू क्लास इन टूडेज क्लास वे विल सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट टू फ्रॉम अवर चैप्टर लाइन्स एंड एंगल्स सो लेट्स गेट इट स्टार्ट इट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इफ यू लुक एट फ्रॉम अवर एक्सरसाइज फाइव पॉइंट टू दिस फिगर इज गिवन एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस दिस फिगर फ्यू क्वेश्चन आर बींग आस्ट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इज इफ A is parallel to B. Here two lines are given. A and B, and as well as two transversals are also given for this pair of line. Now the question is asking us that if A is parallel to B, then angle one will be equal to angle five. We have to state the name of the property used here. If you look at the figure, A and B are parallel lines, and this is the transversal. Having eight angles on both the lines, so in that case, angle one and angle five, if you look at their position, they are on the different line segments, but having the same position with respect to the transversal. So in that case, angle one and angle five are corresponding. Angles. Now our second question: If angle four plus angle five equals one eighty degree, then A will be parallel to B. We know that from the property of consecutive interior angles that if you look at the angles four and five here, both are in the interior part and are the consecutive angles. We know that if consecutive angles are supplementary, then the lines are parallel so it means that by this property if consecutive interior angles are supplementary then lines are parallel so we have used here consecutive interior angles or you can also write interior angles on the same side of the transversal now if you look at the second question in second question again one figure is given the figure is a bit same but with a little difference in second question figure the second transversal is absent and the uh, angles are named as This one is angle one. This one is angle two. This one is angle three, and this one is angle four. In the same way, on the second line also, we will rename the angles as five, six, seven, and eight. In this question, it is asking us on the basis of this figure for the question number two. We have to write the pairs of corresponding angles here. So, on the basis of this figure, the pairs of corresponding angles are. Yes, you are right. First angle one equals angle five. Angle two equals angle six. Angle four equals angle eight, and angle three equals angle seven. Now the second question is asking us here the pairs of alternate interior angles. Second question four we have to write. Alternate interior angles. So, alternate interior angles means the angles which are in interior and or are on the alternate positions. Interior angles are two, three. 
8 and 5. So interior alternate angles are angle 2 equals angle 8 and angle 3 equals angle 5. Hope you have understood the solution of these two questions. Now we are moving to our third question. In this question, a pair of parallel lines is given. P and Q here are parallel lines and T is the transversal. Now, if you look at this figure, A, B, C, D, E and F are six unknown angles and only measurement of one angle is given here, 125 degrees. On the basis of this information, we have to find out the value of all the unknown angles. So how we will do it? Let's see. If you look at this part of the figure, E and F are vertically opposite angles. 125 degree is linear pair with angle F. Also 125 degree is linear pair with E. We know that the sum of the linear pairs is 180 degree. So we can write in our solution that E plus 125 degrees will give us 180 because these angles are linear pair. On transposing 125 degrees to RHS, E equals 180 minus 125. So, E equals 55 degrees. We have got the value of one unknown angle here. When we look at the second unknown angle from this segment, E and F, as I told earlier, are vertically opposite angles here. So, we can write angle F will be equal to angle E because these are vertically opposite angles. So F equals also 55 degrees. Now if we look at D and 125 degrees. These are corresponding angles here. So, angle D will be equal to 125 degrees. Reason is corresponding angles. So, as of now, we have value of angle E which is 55 degrees. We have value of angle F which is 55 degrees. We have value of angle D which is 125 degrees. Now if you look at angle B, angle B is vertically opposite angle of B. So B equals D. The reason is vertically opposite angle. So value of angle B is also 125 degrees. Now again if you look at the figure D and C are linear pair. So D plus C equals 180 degrees because these are linear pair. So, we have the value of angle D, 125 degrees. So, we will put it here. 125 plus C equals 180. C equals 180 minus 125. So C equals 55 degrees. Also you can see that F 
and C here are corresponding angles. So with this relation also, you could find out the value of angle C.